demonstration I'm going to ask you to do exercise to to practice this yourself so I'm just showing you how to do it so um, your family means your parents right yes. your family want him to build up you know have more property or something and uh, build up his wealth yeah please someone come and interpret stand here please stand here my It's like the extended family uncles are not in favor of the sister's children. So when somebody goes... Let, let, let's see. You're talking about different thing now. Children. My husband wants to marry me. They say he will settle himself. My uncle refused. My uncle. Okay. Which is that uncle. Uncle. the uncle? The uncle yeah. now said, yeah. let the men that want to get married or want to marry her go and establish before coming to yeah. Yeah. marry me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and since then now I talk about marrying. He said I should wait. I should wait. So every time now he has interest. Every time she decides to face him. He said, no, we have to wait. So there is no longer oh, in school. The, the men, uh, the men. You try to convince the man. Yes. And then now right. he loses interest. Yes. He can always say wait, wait. Because the family, your family requires, wants him to have more money first. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You can stay here. So now, now stay here, please. So. In this situation, your family has a lot of pressure because of money. Please go back and take care of the noise. Please go back and take care of the noise. If they talk, please go back. Let's have more help. More help. So, um, in your home, there's a lot of pressure because of money. And that makes you feel very unhappy now. Okay. And also, you are unhappy because you're losing your future husband too, right? Yes. Are you losing her? Losing him? Yes. That he is leaving you now? I don't know him. So, he has not left finally, but she doesn't actually know his intention now because he has no longer no interest. Okay. So this is another problem that your husband-to-be seems lose interest in you and you don't know his, in, his intention, okay? 
Um, now in this situation, she has two problems. Mm -hmm. One problem is the family always putting pressure of money on the uh, son-in-laws to be son-in-law to be. And second is she's losing her husband-to-be. Now these are two possible things. So what I want to do is find out from her which one you would like to talk about first. Okay. Okay. Now, um, well, tell me something about him and how he was, how he treated you before. He's a calm man. Quiet man, peaceful man. Very good, quiet, peaceful man. Is he a Christian? Yes. Okay. And then, do you see him now, uh, like in the church? He ran around. around us or inside, yeah. He's here too. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. It's but then. The oh, okay. oh, okay. Is he willing to come out to. I said he talked now. Huh? I said, you talk to him. I said, let you ask him. Okay. Is, is that man willing to come out? Is that okay or no? Or does he not want to? Because then it would become a counseling to, to find out whether they are suitable for marriage. So, uh, now, if the person doesn't show, is he the one? Oh, he's the man. Okay. Thank you for coming up. You're courageous. Yeah, most, those people are dead, who stay, no marriage. They're living together, no marriage. One of them. One of them. You mean they're living together? Yes, they're in the church. I can call them one of them. Okay, okay. Now, okay, please be quiet. All right. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. So, now this situation, you've been living together for how long already? Hope you don't mind. Five years. Five years. And then now, seems like you are losing the interest, right? Uh, is that, what, what's happening now? Just tell me what's happening. Uh, you tell me what happened. So every time she encouraging so that they can start preparation towards making things right, he always told her, let's wait. So oh, we have to start putting things together. So I told you just wait. So she observed that. It's like postponement, postponement, it's lack of interest. Okay. But you're still living together, right? Yes. Okay. Now, let me ask you, thank you for coming out. Thank you. Okay. So, could you tell me what is on your mind? Oh, in this public mind, my reason of telling her to wait is a uh -huh, problem. I will, that the church was taking care of this church. Okay. The problem was before Bishop, and by the grace of God, that problem has been laid to rest. So I've been telling her, wait, wait. Before we go back to your parents, God will wait for me to get rid of Why your mind now? That's right. Why your mind now? <laughs> <laughs> The reason why I told her to wait, now I'll explain it to you. Are you ready now? Oh, is it true? Let me see. Let me try to understand. So it's because the bishop is handling this situation yes. that you are you are living together without marriage. So you're trying you're trying to figure this out yes. before you do any action, right? Sure. But you still live together? Yes. Okay. Then I ask you this. Have you told her this issue? Have you told her that the bishop is talking to you about it? Yes, I told her. Okay, what did you tell her? I told her the, the reason why I'm telling you wait. Let me go and get clarity from bishop before I can come back to you so we can do our preparation. Okay. 
Did you tell her what's the problem that the bishop is giving you? That the issue that the bishop is talking to you about? I was in a relationship with, I don't know, woman. Yeah. So that was the issue. And uh, when I quit that relationship, I had to go and do settlement with okay. that family. Okay. Okay. Amen. Pastor Yip, this, this man you see so, many of them here, they get plenty of women. They get plenty of women. Now he no problem. When he was, say, say clearly. Yeah, when when he, he has plenty of women. When, when, there are when, many women like this thing, when he was When he was in the world, eh? He played in life, he got plenty of women. Plenty of women. Him. Him. Okay. Before. Before. And some of them plenty here. So now, now the women coming to him to marry this and that problem, but he entered into the church as we begin to counsel and teach. He understand the truth. Now he decided to marry. That's why I told him to tell you that problem he finished solving it. Now. Why is decision? Is he ready to marry or no? I want him to answer that because he's about to learn the truth now. Okay, but I want to you find out more about the way. issues before I will go to that. The reason is, once it comes to marriage, then I'm saying, okay, go get married. I want to find out because I'm, now I'm demonstrating the marriage counseling to find out really what's happening. Okay, let me tell so you. I cannot just say, okay, let me go tell get you. married. What happening is this. By the time he proposed to marry this woman, another woman he lived with, born child with. Born child? He, he born a child with he another child. lady. Okay, he had now a child. the lady came to him, he will not marry this woman unless he married her child. Say it again. The lady said, the other lady said, yeah, the other lady said, unless he marry her, she will not marry this woman. Okay, so. And for that reason, there was a problem between the family and, the, and himself, which I settled it here. We tried to see how best to do it. Now he decided to settle the woman. He decided to settle the woman. Okay. Do some, you know, some rights to the woman and put the woman out. So okay. the man cannot stay. To so enable okay. him, marry this woman. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what we are facing now is a very complicated matter. And then I have to break it down. But I'm not going to do it now because it takes time. To so break it down and find out how possible is it for him to handle that other woman. Now this is a problem with having different women. That's a problem. That he is facing the consequence. So if he's facing this difficulty, how will he handle it? So that's the first thing. So when he handled that, how is his relationship with her? That has to be settled. And my, now, then my suggestion, when it comes to this point, I will ask them, is it okay for you not to have sex at this point with her? Yes, yes. So, and then, because you need to settle the other one before you can settle this one. At this point, yes, go ahead. You settle. Yeah, yes, go ahead. Settle. You already settled. Yes. Oh, you already settled. Yes. Oh, you already settled. Okay. Yes. Now, when it comes to this point, if they already settled, then I want to ask you this question. Then. This is pre-marriage counseling. Now, with marrying her, what are some issues now? So I'm basically asking questions. I'm not telling them what to do. So what are some issues now? The, the issue I have is I'm in the things of God now. Everything pertaining to the church, I want her to join me. I want her to join, to join me in the things of God, that's the only way I'll be moved to go ahead, yes, okay? So have you asked, have you, now please hold the other mic. So have you asked her to join you? You mean like in the ministry, in the things you do in the church, yes, right? Yes, yes. Have you asked her? Yes, I have asked her several times. And then what did she say? She can agree, but sometimes she backslap. That's the problem. Okay, now, listen. 
Now, whenever I'm counseling, and he's using a negative term, backslided. That term, usually in the counseling, I would suggest to them, okay? When you use the word, you're saying she has done something wrong. Can you use, now does it mean we really, she really changed her mind, or does she just doesn't want to do that thing? Is it backsliding? That means losing her faith, or just having some problem. Uh, that she's not doing. So what is the issue? Yes, or oh, if, if the word backsliding is harsh, no. No, the word backsliding has problems. Because backsliding is saying he's falling away from Jesus Christ. Yes. But if she just changed her mind, she doesn't want to do it, it's another thing. So, so did she just disagree to do something or backslide from Jesus? No, no, no. Not a same thing. It's because of some activities. Yes. So <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, uh, every, every time, every time she, she encourages me, she says I should try to do something right with God. I said, when I come to a relationship between she and me. But my concern here, I can tell her, wait, wait, because I want her to be in the things of God. So that when we get there, we can look behind. That's why, that's my major concern. Okay, now my question is, now listen now. In the process, you notice, I'm trying to clarify everything. Whatever he said, that's about part of counseling. I have to clarify what is really happening. You said she backslided, what do you mean? When I say she backslided, it means she weak when it comes to uh, the spiritual aspect. That's my major point. And I would not want to marry the wife when I'm going this way, then you're going to the other way. Okay. Because the Bible says, before two can walk, they must agree. Okay, now let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Did she just did not join some of the you know, ministry, or did she backslide it all together? Well, not all together. Uh, which way? In which way? Like, for example, this this conference. She attended this conference once. Okay. Today, two. Okay. So it means she will not be certificated for okay. even participating. Okay. Do you know why she did not attend every day? Well, yes, I know partly. Partly. What do you think? What do you think? One of, one of the things is she is selling in the market. She's, she's selling. A, she's selling. Okay, so she has a business, yes. a work to do. Yeah. Now, now the reason why I asked her, ask him, because what he described is it true or not? Now, she has a work to do. So, do you mean that when she's working, and then there's a conference, you want her every time to stop the business? I'm not saying she should not. I'm just asking, are you expecting her to stop the business altogether whenever you have a conference? Seriously. 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 Okay. Seriously. Okay. Let me hear your response. Okay. Now, do you base on that to say that she's back backsliding? Do you base on this conference? Do you have other things to back up that she's backsliding? Do you have other things? If I have anything like is that a conference? What other thing did you observe? Oh, okay. Uh, we, we, from the conference, we have, this is the ministry of which two of us are members of. We are members of this ministry. Most of the times, uh, church, she comes to church late. Late? Yeah, lateness. Witness. She, 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 she comes late. Lit, lit, lateness, lateness. What is lateness? Coming after time. Oh, late. 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 Yeah. Okay, so she comes in late. Yeah. Do you find out why? No, I, 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 we live together. I can, I can leave home most of the time and come with the children. Okay, okay. Now, the reason is he's saying, saying something. So I want to clarify that. You're listed. You're listed. I'll bring you so, so what I'm doing is, I'm trying to clarify, and then I will let her speak. 
respond to what he said. She is saying that she is not arguing because she believes She is saying that speak loud. Everyone she, speak loud. She is saying that Firstly, she doesn't want to argue because she believes that her future husband. Okay. But the reason any time she comes late is she can want to prepare food for the children that coming earlier and not cooking on the after service the children will not be there. So she wants to prepare food. And then when it comes to the selling again, she make it to understand, well, not every time you will have money. And I use this business to be able to get few money to be taking care of some problems that when you are not in a position to solve, that I can be able to be my help. That's the reason many a time she was in attend fully such a programs. Okay. And then uh, could you answer to what he said about coming to the conference? Now, for me, I don't mind if you come. How many days is okay? But it's like an answer to him. Why you came certain days? It's answer to him, not to answer to me. Okay, she is saying that the reason of her not being committed or coming all the time is when she go to sell, many a time they give the goods to people to help to sell around. But if you are not present, they will run away with the money. So you need to be present to collect the money from them. So that's why. Okay. Now, in this situation, he has an interpretation of spiritual life or service ministry. And she has this concern with the making money and also taking of the children. Uh, now, when I hear this, there is a conflict of view. And I want to explain this. I'm not teaching them. I'm explaining this. First, the person's love for God or his heart to serve God is not seen in how, of, how many times he comes to the conference or how he, you know, his absence or, of course, you know, we should be punctual. We maybe try to overcome that with coming early. Uh, and that can be done with uh, working out things so that it's not just her responsibility, that you too will help her with preparing the meal so that you can come home eating. But the main thing is, do you agree spirituality is not just in the outside, it's in the inside, in the inside. Let me ask you, on the inside, what do you want to, your life to be related to God? I want spiritual life. I want to live my life for Christ. Okay, you want to live your life for Christ. So this is something that I encourage you to find out. Now here we cannot go into it, but what you heard is, he said one thing, she said one thing. How can I reconcile the two of them without making them feel bad? Now in this process, did you notice I make any one of them feel bad? No. no, I did not accuse her or him. I just try to find out I'm very neutral. And then, now I realize that there is a different view on spirituality. And uh, so I encourage them. So you take some time to discuss with her, communication with her, uh, about how often she can come to the conference, about how you can prepare the meals ahead of time, and about how much she can participate in the ministry. So this, another series related to spiritual life or ministry is about how the two communicate and work together. So that's, that's one thing, that's for you to talk about. Now from this, I noticed then you have an understanding uh, did you try to find out from her why 
or did you try to um, find out the reason behind all this before you come to this conclusion? Because you have a conclusion. She expects lighting. So before you have this conclusion, have you asked her questions to clarify this? Do you understand what I mean? If I ask her question to clarify what? To clarify whether she is not concerned about spiritual life and ministry, or is it that is it related to spiritual life, or is it just because of time and money? Because she has to take care of the family too. Yes, yes, I I, I found out from her just what she explained to you. Similar things she can always tell me, but for me, I can look at it and be bad. To be bad, okay. yeah, seriously, yeah. Okay, now let me ask you: When a family doesn't have money, now I'm a very spiritual person, but I also would say, if the family doesn't have money, does it mean she will put down the business and come every day to a conference? Let me ask you: Do you think that she should come to a conference every day and then stop the business and then have no money for a few days to for eat to very, eat? Very, no, no, no. Okay. So, do you agree that our daily responsibility is also important? Sure. So, so how did you come up with the conclusion that she is not spiritual? That she is backsliding? Yes. Uh, uh, Pastor, you know, the way that was how I was looking at it. Okay. But from a conference, we are not being eating together, but last night we ate together. When, when, when the teaching was going on okay. yesterday, I wanted to ask questions, but okay. the same question I wanted to ask, other people were asking, so I'll get judging on points. Okay. And when I went home, uh, before going home, I passed to the market, we walk to the house, okay. while going, I was talking to her, telling her, you know, and in fact, telling her, I said, we, we, we need to be eating together. So okay. Why? Okay. That's a good change. Yeah. That's a good change. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. Now, please be quiet. Please be quiet. Everyone, don't so let me ask you. At this point, do you think she is necessary and spiritual? Yes, yes. She is unspiritual? Yes. She is spiritual. She is spiritual. She is spiritual or not spiritual? She is spiritual. Okay, she is spiritual. Then, if you understand that she is spiritual, should you not use the word backsliding? Should you not back the term? That was a stable tone. Okay. If it's a slip of tongue, then what should you do to her? Now, even for now, I'm standing here. I'm, I have joy in me now. Because she is a member of the church and uh, church and the church choir. Okay. She is a member of the singing ministry now. So okay. all of those things, they are motivation for okay. me. Good. Now I'm coming back to that. You said that was a slip of tongue. Yeah. yeah. But it was twice. Twice you said that. But I have what I have can you to describe it? What, what can you do at this point when you know that it's a slip of tongue? What can you do to her? You I will apologize to her for that. Right now, please. Yes. Madam. Madam. Did you call Madam? Are you call of Vivian? Vivian. Listen now. In this process, did I make anyone unhappy? No. And I was pointing out a mistake of his, right? Yes. And asked him. And I did not say you are wrong. You are wrong. I just asked him, yeah. why did you say that she backslided? Is that true? So I never carry a tone of accusation. Mm -hmm. right. It's very important for us to remember that. Where does it come from? In the heart, I'm not accusing anyone of them. Even if someone has obvious sins, I will still try to help the person. And I still don't want to accuse. Accusation, does it help? Does it help? 
No. It doesn't help. So anytime we don't want to accuse, we want to lead the person. Okay, now we jump to the next thing now. All right. Uh, please. The next thing is, she is concerned about that you seem not to be willing to talk about marriage at this point. So can you respond to what she said there? Now notice my wording. Yes. I just say, can you respond? Instead yeah. of saying, are you not getting married? Oh, what are you? So it's like accusing him. I don't. I just say, can you respond to what she said? Or can you say something about your desire to, to marry? That way, I don't carry any accusation. Yes. Okay. Okay. Please respond to her. For now. Now. For now. You can respond and say, what, is, what are you thinking now? Yes. Now, my major concern here is to marry her. Oh, your major concern. Very good. Very good. Wonderful. Now, but then she felt that you were not talking about the topic. She felt that. She said that. It seems that you were avoiding the topic. Can you explain to her uh, what happened? Now, notice. Because she said he didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I say it in a way without accusation. Yeah. I just said she said that you were not talking about it. So can you explain to her what's happening? Yeah. So there's a neutral tone. Neutral. Have you noticed it's a neutral yeah. thing? Yeah. And then I did not say, uh, I, 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 I don't say tell her now. I say, can you tell her? Yeah. It's always a question. Yeah, sure. This is very important. Can you tell her? Because he can say, I don't want to tell her. Then I'll ask her, ask him, why do, don't you want to tell her? So instead of saying, you tell her now, you confess your sin, I would say, are you willing to confess your sin? But in this case, I did not. Okay? So can you tell her, so get used to asking questions. Can you tell her uh, why she was concerned about this? What, what did you do that made her uh, concerned about this? Yes, uh, I can tell her that I want to get married to her, but the reason why I've not been talking about him for a while, we started first when the confusion came out. Because I, I, I approached her on the issue. I don't want to ask her if I want to be her daughter. But then, what did he say? He said, in fact, he was the first person that suggested to her concerning the kid is right with God. But when it came to this settlement of the other lady, Hello, friend, that, the first lady that he, the first family that he had relationship with. So the settlement of that family caused him to slow down the okay. bit. Okay. But now that that settlement is complete, what's your right. So you're ready. Now that that settlement is finished, I'm ready. Okay. Now let me ask you a question. About your family's objection, what do you two plan to do about that? Now again, I did not force them. I did not make them do anything. I just asked them, what do you plan to do? My, when for, from my family, her family's rejection. Yeah, the, it was about our settlement. They wanted me to settle the, uh, about the family that will be first before I can uh, get married to their daughter. Yeah, but what she was saying is, her family wants you to have more money before you marry her. Is that true? Is that what no, 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 no. So, no, no. Our, our sister. That was my older sister. Was my older sister on a scenario. Oh, it's your older sister, not your mother, not your parents. No, for her. Not her. But my sister, they said they didn't get property, they shouldn't marry. As for me, they said we should settle him with me okay. before he married me. So which are better for her? The fam her family never wanted this brother to stay be connected to another family okay. and take their daughter. They see he's feeling with everything now. You all tell me, say, go to your poor again. Tell him, go, go, tell him, go, that we feel with everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> 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 say, like what I'm saying is that the family, her family was expecting him to settle that particular family. But from the time he completed the settlement, he had not told us, oh, honey, I have completed the settlement, so now let's go to your parents. Let me make them to understand that I have done my homework and I'm ready. Okay, now, then about your sister saying about property, that he doesn't have property, is it what 
Yeah, it's not here. Oh, no, 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 Okay, okay, okay. So in this case then, then it's something for you to talk about, to plan. Yeah. And uh, now, I heard that many people cannot get married because of money. The 150 US dollars. Yes. So for you, do you have this problem? Yeah. Yes. Uh, also, those are some of the things that bring it delays for this uh, marriage. Okay. Now, do you, what do you plan to do about that? To pray and look for the money so that we can make things right. Okay. Okay. So in the process, how would you feel about that? That you're waiting for the money? Yes, I'm working towards it. You're working toward it too, okay? So now, so if the counseling comes to here, then it's basically clear, right? Yes. Then he doesn't have a feeling that she's backsliding. And uh, now for them to cooperate in the ministry, how, how much, how far is up to them to discuss? And uh, so that's something for them to talk about. And I want to say this too. Love for God doesn't mean both persons participate in a church to the same degree. Now I hope you don't mind me saying this. At the same time, I want people to be devoted to the church. But at the same time I say, you don't count the spiritual life by how many hours, how many days you spend in church. Because someone has to work. So we cannot say, well, you have to work so you don't come to church and then it is not spiritual. So we, we don't judge by that. But about being late, I think it's something can be solved. If both of you get up earlier and then, um, then, then you prepare the meal together, that's another thing, not just eat together, but prepare the meals together, okay? So this, there is something for you to talk about, to settle, and then, but for the meantime, can you agree not to have sex before your marriage? Can you agree to that? Now? From now on until marriage. Yes. Can I answer? Yes, you can answer now. Now. I, I, I will not be your uh, obligation. Say it again. Please be quiet. So, what does that mean? What like, that's why they are fighting hard to make and to look money, to look for money very fast, because it's like, for him, he will find it difficult in that he want to be at least committed to her and know uh, so that he can not, he doesn't want to pretend to her say, oh, we are, Keeping ourselves and why he's going outside to do something different. Uh, so, no, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm asking you. No, he's saying that they were finding it very challenging. Not impossible, but I say it will be challenging for him. What I'm saying is, because you're not married yet, can you stop mm -hmm. having sex? That's my question. So, do you agree with this? teaching in the Bible, when you're not married, even though you have done it many times before, that when you're not married, then you wait until you get married before you have sex. Can you agree to that? With God, I have to take it to the Lord to pray. I have to pray about that. When it's outside of wedlock, when it's outside of wedding, and then having sex, that is fornication. Do we ask the Lord, let me say, when it comes to a point of sin, do we ask the Lord, do you ask the Lord, should I fornicate now until I get married? Do you ask the Lord that way? Do you ask the Lord? Let me ask you. Do you ask the Lord, can I still continue to have sex with her? Do you ask the Lord that? When it's against God's will. Or do you find it hard to, uh, to told manage you, yourself? I told you for now, I've gotten used to her. I have to pray about it. So that I can have it in a shorter possible time. 
shorter as possible time to get married, to get married. Yeah, to get married is true, but the point is, when you are not married yet, then it's scriptural that we avoid fornication outside of marriage. And as a man, I would say this, that if we spend more time with the Lord and put down our sexual, sexual thoughts, that we don't have to have sex like Jesus, he did not have sex. He was a young man. He did not have sex. When he was on earth, he was young. So I'm asking you, is, this is not something to ask the Lord, should I continue to have sex or no? It's, it's, I'm saying, this is not something we ask the Lord whether I should continue to do. It's something, Lord, please help me to do it. That's what I'm saying. That's my prayer. Okay. Now, because just now you say, I'll ask the Lord, it could mean you're asking the Lord whether you can say yes or no. No, no, no. That's, that's what I mean. Okay, ask the Lord for strength. Now, let me ask you, do you agree to that too? If he wants to have sex, that you will reject that? Okay. So we want to do something according to the will of God. And if possible, if your house is big enough that you can have separate beds, is that possible in your house? Okay, if that's possible, it will avoid the temptation. And then you try to pray more time so that you will be more peaceful. Okay, now, I'm not going to spend more time because we need time for other, uh, your practice, okay? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you. Do you have any question about that thank session? You. Now, don't ask me other questions about fornication. I'm not asking questions about fornication. I'm asking you, do you have questions about the process, what I was doing? The process I was counseling, what I was doing. Do you want to clarify something? You want to ask some questions about about it? Thank you. I, I, Rabbi, I just learned something from you. Okay, thank you. While you were asking them, even though at some point in time you knew that what they were doing was wrong, but you never passed judgment on them. You just kept asking. It's like asking them to say what I, what we were doing was wrong or right. And I learned from that. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, because we don't want to judge. Actually, anyone, anyone, unless when it comes to a situation when after continual exhortation, the person still continues to sin, then I would ask, why are you continuing to commit that sin? Is there any way you can stop it? And do you know the consequence of that? Then I will be more confronting. Okay. Yeah, I also have said, uh -huh. I observed that your voice, the tone of your voice, uh -huh. was no, in no means judgmental. You did not pass judgment uh -huh. by condemning the act. Okay, okay. Uh, so very good, that. thank you. So it's very important that our voice, our tone of voice, okay. Okay, my question is to you. Okay. After uh, getting their view, and found out that uh, the man is not uh, actually willing uh, uh, to set a way where well know that there's a communication. Why should be the counselor position to them? Uh, what did he say? I, 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 didn't, I didn't get my okay. question. Yeah, yeah, let, let, let me tell you. The problem is well, I didn't understand all your questions. When you, when you finish advising or giving counsel, and the man insisted that I cannot give up, that Okay, then I will handle it as handling a sin of a member. Handling and ask him, okay, do you realize that this is offending God? And then, do you realize if you continue sin, Galatians chapter 5, yes. that you can lose your salvation. So do you want to continue to sin like that? So I will be more serious. I will. I will be serious. And then the next thing, if he doesn't stop, I will stop his ministry in the church. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, want, uh, I want to say something like the question to them, since they are here, I want to say in this problem manner by God's grace, I will tell the mother to avoid them losing their salvation. Mother will carry the woman came to her house until the man in it so that they will cut off her sex. Say the Bishop. 
I said, since the man finds it difficult to separate, because every day they want to marry the woman, they have no dowry to pay, nothing yet, wait, 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 he continue to sin. If he continue that sin, okay. he go to hell. Yeah. And for him not to separate, maybe they live in a congested area, I will tell my wife to withdraw the woman and live with the woman so that the man and the woman will be separated to yeah. make that man to get her married. Go back to the home. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We shall know nonsense. Go back to the homes. It's true. They should go back to the homes. Because the last couple we counseled, they really had no place to go. So I said separate room, separate bed. But then in this case, if they, you can go back to your own home, then you should go back to your... Then it's better. Okay. Anything else? Anything?